or stream wherever, whenever. Find us on Pluto TV and on any platform using the free CBS News app. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Natalie Dudridge. And I'm Cindy Shu. CBS Morning is next. Have a great day. CBS Mornings on this Monday. It's a new week. I'm Gail King. I'm Nate Burleson. And I'm Vladimir Dutia. Tony's off today. Let's go to today's eye opener. It's your world in 90 seconds. An out of control wildfire near Yosemite National Park forces evacuations, and California's governor declares a state of emergency. It's an inferno, and then an explosion goes off. A dangerous heat wave continues from coast to coast. Many cities are seeing record-breaking temperatures hitting triple digits. Two more Americans are killed while fighting in the war in Ukraine. We speak to those they left behind and their commanding officer. They fight for good. The World Health Organization is sounding the alarm over the monkeypox virus, declaring it a public health emergency. We really don't know the future course of this virus. Pope Francis landed in Canada to apologize to the indigenous people who were abused by missionaries at residential schools. The wild scene on the waters off Massachusetts, a humpback whale breached the surface in an area full of small boats. Our epic first look at Black Panther, Wakanda forever. The trailer is a moving tribute to the late Chadwick. Postman. Guess what? Big Poppy got caught up on fire. Big Poppy is in the hall. David Ortiz among seven inducted at the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. And I will always be there for you, Boston. I love you, Boston. American Nathan Mo in the 800 meter women's final. It's the gold medalist and silver medalist from Tokyo. A thing Mo says, no, you don't. I want this world championship for America. And nothing Mo. Winning by just eight hundredths of a second to become the first American woman to ever win gold at the World Athletics Championships in the event. Olympic champion and American record holder, she now adds world champion to her major track and field accomplishments. This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Did you guys hear that eight hundredth of a second? Love to that's see it. that. So competitive. My wife is a former oh, track right. athlete. So we were watching it last night. It is so intense. Yeah, it those looks like track it. athletes. I love to see that. So congrats, job. congrats. Yeah. We're going to welcome you to CBS Mornings right now. We've got some great reporting to share with you as we begin this week, including a look at a troubling concern at one of the world's most beautiful beaches, visited by hundreds of thousands of people every year. David Begno shows us there's no access to even basic medical care there, and he's been looking into why that is. Plus, Anthony Mason is witnessing history again with what he says is the most emotional concert he's ever been to. You're looking at Joni Mitchell playing in public for the first time since she nearly died in 2015. She tells Anthony how she had to relearn everything through grit and determination, including how to play the guitar again. How about that? And it's Anthony yes, yes. and music, so you know it's going to be amazing. Yeah, that's it's right. going to be amazing, but I just love seeing Joni Mitchell back there. I do, too. Yeah, you're right. So wonderful. A living legend, that's for she sure. still got it. Still yeah, got it. Still got it. But we begin with dangerous heat fueling devastating wildfires across 15 states. In California, a fast-moving fire has exploded in size near Yosemite National Park. Thousands have been forced to evacuate, and millions are facing air quality alerts more than 100 miles away. Jonathan Vigliotti is at Mariposa County, where thousands of firefighters have been working through the night, battling the massive fire. Jonathan, good morning. Hey, good morning to you. Cooler temperatures this morning have really helped tamp down these flames.